Welcome to the LibreOffice Tips and Tricks again. Uh, here today I would like to show you a typical transportation problem. In the table you can see distances in kilometer uh, from city, from sources to destination cities. Sources are logistics centers and the destinations are the cities where we are running shops. At the end of each row you can see a capacity number which means uh, how many times a truck uh, can be served by the logistics center and at the bottom of the column uh, you can see see the demand uh, of the city, how many times per year the shop would like to receive delivery trucks. And the distances in kilometers are here, so we would like to serve all the shops in the cities from the logistics centers uh, with the minimum uh, cost, so the minimum distance uh, should be used between. If we summarize the capacity, you can see it is uh, 1,910, and if we summarize uh, the demand, it is uh, 1,790. So basically, it seems we have enough capacity to serve all the shops which are running in the cities. Here I copied the table because this will be the pattern uh, we will optimize to have our portfolio. Where are uh, the trucks coming from and how to serve the cities? Initially, I will write the value of one to everywhere and I will summarize all by rows first because this will be here you can see the summary of uh, the service of a logistics center toward uh, the cities. So basically this is the usage. How many tracks uh, we filled from a logistics center? Of course this cannot be higher than the capacity. And if I summarize the columns, we can get how many tracks arrive to one location. You can see here, this should be at least the demand. Of course, we want to satisfy the shops. So uh, for Debrecen, for example, it must be at least 510. So now uh, we have the provided service here, uh, the usage of the logistics centers here, and we have the demand and the capacity to compare. This pattern, uh, how we want to satisfy the shops from the logistics centers, can be optimized by the solver. We will use the linear solver. But first, uh, we have to know what is the target cell. Uh, to be able to use uh, the solver, we need uh, at least three things to be adjusted. First, the target cell. Now we don't have any target uh, uh, we didn't calculate anything yet, but we have to. Uh, we have to decide whether it will be maximum or minimum. Of course, we want the minimum cost, the minimum running distance of the tracks, and uh, we have to calculate it. Uh, we will use the minimum, and by changing cells, basically, this uh, matrix will be uh, our all changing cells. But we still need an uh, one cell uh, where we calculate uh, our goal. Our goal is to use the minimum running distance of the tracks. It will be a sum product of uh, two arrays. Here are the distances and here are uh, the number of the tracks uh, running that uh, way. And here you can see the summary. It will be now in kilometer, total kilometer, run by all the trucks, totally during one year. And uh, this will be our target cell. So I will calculate it with, uh, highlight it with a uh, red color. So now we know that we would like to have this value to the minimum. So the minimum running distance of the tracks should be while uh, we adjust uh, the number of the tracks running from city to city. 
and uh, we have of course requirements many requirements the logistics center uh, of Bia Tormaj, for example cannot serve more tracks than uh, 540 per year okay the next one uh, cannot run more than uh, serve more than 620 and the last yeah, near and Kansas City have the capacity of 750 okay now we are fine that uh, we know what is the maximum capacity of the logistics centers how many trucks they can serve per year okay but we have the demand of course what service uh, they need it must be satisfied so in our case the calculated service will be at least the value okay at least 450 oh no not that way sorry here 460 and the next one it will be or equal than the next one and in Debrecen what we calculate is higher or equal than uh, the requirement and the next one oh, the last city is Mishkolt it must be at least 480 so now you have seen that uh, we recorded uh, uh, basically seven limiting conditions here to find the solution the optimum solution uh, our calculated uh, usage of the logistics centers how many trucks they serve per year it uh, cannot be higher than their capacity and on the other hand when we see uh, how many trucks arrive to the cities it must be at least their demand and now if we calculate uh, the optimum we should use the linear solver here you can see uh, a lot of opportunity of course uh, the solution should be integer uh, we cannot uh, share a, a track uh, basically it is possible but it would be nice to have one single track uh, to travel uh, we cannot uh, split the track halfway and uh, we assume uh, non-negative values because minus one track of course cannot travel so right now we solve and i keep the result you see that this is the uh, smallest amount of running distance of the tracks how we can satisfy the need of uh, the shops from the logistics centers you can see that uh, we have some spare capacity in the logistics centers one of them uh, was used totally because it was close to some destinations uh, but the others have uh, some left and uh, if we check uh, the demand uh, they were completely satisfied so we can serve all the shops this was the target cell the sum product of the pattern a delivery pattern and the destinations and you can see here again how we set up the solver the basic three things in the solver setup the target cell is the sum product because uh, we want to minimize the running distances of the tracks so the minimum was selected uh, by changing cells are here marked with green and we also recorded the limiting conditions based on the capacity and the demand thank you for your attention